So I recently posted a video about asset protection for real estate and how to use and layer LLCs with management companies and asset protection trusts. And I came across the most ridiculous comment, you know, that I just have to break down. Um, the comment was that you don't need to do any asset protection at all. All you need to do if you get sued is, and I quote, raise the rent after the lawsuit and that raising the rent will work as lawsuit prevention. Um, yeah, I'm just shocked. So let me talk about this from both the CPA side and the legal side, since I am a highly decorated and nationally recognized asset protection attorney. And this person, you know, uh, came across this idea from somewhere. So I just want to start correcting this. So you're thinking about raising your rent to protect your investments. And you're thinking that rent increases will help you avoid lawsuits. Um, let's dive into this. So first up is going to be the CPA mindset. All right. Now, a CPA might actually suggest that increasing rent can improve your cash flow. You know, higher income sounds great, right? That's just mathematics. However, you know, the same CPA would caution you to balance that with um, tenant retention, all right? Higher rents can lead to increased turnovers, resulting in costly vacancies and expenses for finding new tenants. That same P um, CPA would also highlight the tax implications, increased rental income affects your tax situation, and you want to make sure you're considering the um, long game profitability as well. And then that same CPA would recommend that you go and talk to an attorney for the legal and liability side of rent increases and things. And so now, now let's just cut to the attorney, right? The attorney will advise you against rent increases as a quick fix for you know this situation. Instead, they emphasize the potential legal risk, right? Disputes can easily escalate into lawsuits, especially if tenants feel that their rent hike is unjust or that they're being retaliated against, big legal word, retaliation. Um, I used to file so many retaliation claims back in my plaintiff litigation work days. Um, plus, local laws matter. Many states and local areas have rent control regulations, and violating them could expose you to significant legal risk, especially if you're in California. Um, so both a CPA and an attorney would advise that, you know, building a good relationship with your tenant is going to be key. Happy tenants mean fewer legal issues and a more stable income. So rather than, you know, seeing rent increases as a way to protect your assets, which it is absolutely not, Focus on maintaining your property, keeping open lines of communication, and understanding your legal responsibilities.